Hello and welcome to today's chemistry class for SS1. Today we are going to continue our introduction to chemistry. This is part 2. Lesson Objectives At the end of this lesson, the student should be able to explain different uses of chemistry, give examples of uses of chemistry, and mention some negative effects of chemistry to humanity. Before we continue, let me give you this quick fun fact. Do you know that pharmacognosy is the pharmaceutical aspect of chemistry? If you don't know, now you know. And so, let's take a quick look at the uses of chemistry in our daily lives. Chemistry, as a field of study, has contributed greatly towards providing our basic needs and improving the quality of the life that we live. One of the places where chemistry has contributed immensely is in our food. Chemistry has been able to provide fertilizers and insecticides that have helped to increase the food production greatly. It has also helped in the preservation and storage of food for long periods such that wastage that used to be experienced in days of old don't happen again. Also, you can take a good look at our clothing. A wide range of clothing materials are made available because of the man-made fibers produced as a result of intensive chemical research. Let's now take a look at the contribution of chemistry in the world of military and space science. Chemistry has contributed to the discovery of chemical substances such as explosives used by the military. It has also helped in an effort to gain more knowledge of the other planets and outer space around us. Looking at our housing sector, chemistry has contributed greatly to the mechanical properties of building materials such as cement, concrete, steel, bricks and tiles. All these are as a result of serious chemical research to produce better materials every time. The medical sector is not left out. Chemistry has contributed immensely to the production of vaccines, medicines that we take today to improve the quality of life that we live. In the transport sector, this rapid development in transportation from carts pulled by animals to the latest aircraft was made possible by chemists producing suitable foils and structural materials for all these vehicles. Now let's take a good look at some adverse or negative effects of chemistry to humanity. Have you ever wondered why your zinc rusts or why metals corrode? It is because of acid rain and the acid rain is caused by fumes that are emitted into the environment by factories, industries while they carry on their production. These fumes end up combining with water in the atmosphere to come back as acid rain which ends up corroding metals and zinc. Another adverse effect of chemistry to humanity is that it causes pollution. I'm referring to 
land pollution, air pollution, water pollution. As we know initially, any activity that ends up rendering any part of the environment unfit for human use is termed as pollution. Now, activities of man through industries, chemical industries that emit dangerous chemicals into the environment end up making the environment unfit for human use and that will be pollution. Good example is we have oil spillage, release of carbon monoxide into the environment from pesticides that we spray in our farms and fertilizers that we use in our farms. Another adverse effect of chemistry to humanity is that it encourages drug abuse. There are several drugs like heroin, cocaine, morphine, etc. that are very addictive. Now, some people produce these drugs illegally and sell them just to make money. But in the course of this, ends up encouraging our youth and many other people to go into drug abuse because of the addictive nature of the drugs. Summary of this class. In this class, we are able to learn that chemistry has contributed greatly to food processing, military and space technology, agriculture, clothing and textile, and drug abuse. Let's now take some assessments to see how far you have learned. Question 1. What is pharmacognosy? A. Pharmaceuticals B. Use of drugs C. Pharmaceutical part of chemistry D. Changes in matter Chemistry has contributed to which of the following? A. Medicine B. Transportation C. Military and space D. All of the above Number 3. Chemistry has contributed negatively to humanity in which of the following ways? A. Created jobs B. Food processing C. Environmental pollution D. Clothing With this, we have come to the end of today's class. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next class.